Hi, I'm Larry Kelly of the New York Botanical Garden. For this episode of Backyard Botany, we're going to look at Chelidonium magus, the greater celandine in the poppy family. This is a species that's originally from Europe and Asia, but has been introduced widely throughout North America. We found this weed growing in our backyard on a rocky slope exposed to the sun. I climbed down the hill, cut it off at the base, and brought it up so that we can take a closer look. Here's where I cut the base of the stem. You can see the soft white hairs along the stem and also the freely flowing exudate, which is a yellow-orange latex. The colored latex is an important feature in many members of the poppy family. And it's a source of opium that's harvested from the fruits of a different member of the family, the opium poppy. The leaf arrangement is alternate along the stem and the leaves are deeply divided. This is a whole leaf here with deep divisions of the blade that separate almost all the way down to the mid vein. The leaves vary from deeply lobed to shallower lobes and the margins have rounded teeth, which is what we call crenate. This is an inflorescence that shows flowers in multiple stages. Right here, we have the youngest flower that's just opening. The two sepals are still attached. As soon as this flower opens, these two sepals will fall off and they'll leave the scar behind, which is the little ring that you see at the bottom of the attachment of the ovary here. The flowers on the sides are open flowers with their very delicate petals that will very soon fall off. On the inside, you have many stamens that will also fall off fairly quickly, leaving behind the ovary the green part in the middle that will mature and turn into a fruit that has seeds on the inside. This is from a flower cluster where the flowers have all matured. All the parts of the flowers have fallen off, that is sepals early as soon as the flowers open. The petals then fall off and the stamens fall off, leaving behind only the ovary. Here are these long, narrow green things with the scar at the base, these are all ovaries. In other words, they are immature fruits. I've torn into an immature fruit or growing ovary that has many small white young seeds on the inside. As the fruit gets larger, the seeds will mature. In this case, they'll most likely turn black like the poppy seed that you know. The fruit will become dry, large, eventually split open and release the many small seeds. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Backyard Botany. Keep an eye open for the fruits of the greater salandine near your house where weeds grow. And the next time you see a poppy in your garden, look closely and you'll see many of the same characteristics.